Me and Melissa traded bags, and as you saw, a brand I've never had, Portland Leather Goods. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, then stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel and if you're new here, I like to review handbags and a little bit of accessories and a, some other lifestyle vlogs, but today is a trade video with Melissa's Corner and I will have her video linked down below so you'll, after you watch mine, go watch hers and see what she traded with me. I had my bags video for sale or trade and she jumped on one of my bags and I'm not going to spoil which one but I will link that video down below. I still have a lot of those and more on my Mercari and Poshmark for sale if you are interested but today's video is about my trade with Melissa and Melissa duct tape wow okay so the packaging is uh solid <laughs> so if you get one from melissa <laughs> it might be duct tape two thousand years later so i already cut it but i've never bought into the hype for this brand but when i saw this bag on her channel when she unboxed it i was like oh i love that color um, cause it's different and I don't have any this color or this brand. So, okay. I know suspense is killing you. Here's the box. Stuffy. Oh, this is so cute. And you know, I don't like big bags. Let me make sure there's nothing in here. Okay. So I don't like huge bags, but... This is called the Portland Leather Goods, and the name is Lola. It's the Lola bag. No feet on the bottom. It is such a cute size, and I think this fits my phone. This pocket right here. That is sweet. I like when there's outer pockets. But yeah, this color is kind of a grayish blue with giant pebbles on it. I just like the look of it. It's really a neat bag. It has a, their hardware looks to be like a brushed, you know, not shiny gold. The stitching is white. I'm just looking it over with you. Too bad they don't put feet on the bottom. So here's the top handle. I guess this is the front, I'm not sure. <laughs> And it here is the, the zipper top. It has a leather pull on the top. Nice zipper. Oh, no. Melissa. I told her not to give me extra things. And what did she do? Gave me extra things. So cute. Okay, she gave me... A Portland Leather Goods uh, pencil case, I guess. And don't ask me what color this is because I'm new to this brand. But it's a very pretty brown. I like it. Very cool. It has stuffing in it. I always have to smell leather. Honestly, I can't smell the leather. But I am a little sick. I'm getting over a sickness. But there's the inside. Like the raw inside. Very cute. I love this pouch. So I got a pouch. <laughs> Told her not to do it. Here's the crossbody strap that it comes with. And it has, whoa, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, a lot of adjustments. It has one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight adjustments so I guess it can be a shoulder bag uh, or a crossbody forgot to show these lobster claws Let's see they're very substantial oh and it has the extra 
for this loose strap here, you got the extra. Very nice. And I'll do a mod shot here in a minute. <clears throat> you got stuffing. I always use the stuffing whenever I'm selling the bag too. So I'll take it. Okay. So just looking at the inside, it has one slip pocket. And uh, if I recall, this color is called Fog. F-O-G. So I forgot to mention that. I went back and looked at her video on it because <laughs> I had to um, but yeah it's just a dark blue really pretty unfinished and it has just the slip pocket inside there's no key keeper or anything just the one pocket it's very soft inside the zipper smooth but yeah let me get the size of this Lola bag I've always been curious about the Portland leather goods. I just haven't ever bought anything. <laughs> I let everyone else buy it and then I'll see what I like and eventually I might get another one. Who knows? This may do it for me. So 10, my perfect size of bag for sure. 10 by 9 height and a depth at the bottom about 6. So super nice this is my favorite favorite size i love the pebbling texture it's not smooth it's a texture i'm gonna do a close-up up here and it's not blue and it's not gray it's like in between blue and gray to me i guess fog <laughs> whatever fog looks like this is fog <laughs> but does anyone know the, the color of this? It looks like, I looked on their website and then, is it honey or dune or, I don't know. I just remember some colors, but super nice pencil case. So let's do a mod shot. Here's what it looks like on me. Super cute, I like it. I like the color, it's very unique. Fits my body nice. I like it. Super cute. This is on the shortest. And it could be a shoulder bag. But honestly this size. To me is best as a crossbody. Go check out Melissa's corner. And see what she got. That she traded with me. And thank you Melissa. For the extra. You didn't have to. But I appreciate it. It's beautiful. I love both of them. And I just wanted to share a couple of things before you go. <clears throat> so I have stand-in rings for my wedding ring. And I found this company that has what I'm going to call a Silistone ring. And that's what I'm wearing currently. And this is like a rose pink color. The company is called... Renfit, and I'm not sponsored. Um, they're silicone wedding rings for the gym, and I also got this gray color. <laughs> and you can choose like marquee or round or different, you know, different rings you can attach, so you're not worried about your ring at the gym, and because it's like this squishy. So if you uh, if you like silicone rings and want a little Silicone. <laughs> then check out this company. I got this off Amazon. They have an Amazon store and they also have their website. So check them out. They have all kinds of colors like purples and black and you know that bottom one's the rose pink I think and I got silver. I just wanted to share that. And then another thing I got so I got these cute, cute little Christmas light earrings. Well, I bought these at Hobby Lobby, these little lights. And you can make your own jewelry. And so in Hobby Lobby, I bought these little ear hooks. And I made myself and my daughter cute little earrings for Christmas. So yeah, 
you can make your own bracelets, necklaces. You just bend the, the little hole there and then buy the little attachments for the earrings and voila, you got your own pairs of earrings and me and my daughter are going to rock these for Christmas. So I wanted to share. I know it's not Christmas, but I still wanted to share because it was our little, little craft. And so now we both have unique, you know, earrings that we both can wear. So anyway, thank you for watching. And if you don't mind, hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below. What do we think of my first Portland Leather Goods Lola bag? <laughs> I like it. It's very cool. And again, the color is fog. <laughs> and don't forget to hit the bell for future notifications so you won't miss my videos. And I have several coming up in the queue with some collaborations, some partnerships. You don't want to miss those because I have a part three collaboration with Quince. Yes, Quince uh, is amazing leather bags. So you don't want to miss that. I appreciate you all, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So again, go watch her video and see what she got traded with me. Traded with me.